Let's dive into High Design, a groundbreaking design platform by Hyperganic that makes creating complex lattice structures easier than ever before. We'll start with a brief overview of High Design and the innovative company behind it, Hyperganic. I'll also share my personal experience using High Design to create a unique lampshade that integrates the Bamboo Lab LED kit. Plus, we'll check out some other cool designs like coasters, vases, and a wrist rest. This video is sponsored by High Design, so stay tuned to learn more about its fantastic features. Hyperganic is a company that's pioneering an engineering approach called algorithmic engineering. They encode the laws of physics and geometry into computer programs to generate highly functional and complex objects. This technology has been used to create industrial parts like heat exchangers, injection molds, and rocket injector heads, all of which are incredibly intricate and can only be produced with industrial 3D printers. High Design is Hyperganic's innovative cloud-native design platform. It's designed to simplify and enhance the process of creating 3D printed lattice structures. What makes High Design stand out is the ease of use, allowing designers to start creating complex structures immediately without extensive training or specialized hardware. Now let's get started on using High Design. If you want to try it for yourself, you can either scan the QR code or click the link in the description. First, I'll import an STL file that I previously designed using CAD software. Once it loads, I navigate using the top menu. Going over all the functions, I decided to try out TPMS first. I'll select the object, set the wall thickness to 1mm, and play around with the cell size parameters to see how it affects our design. For the sake of keeping the video concise, I'll cut the processing time. Here's the result. The geometry is quite unique. TPMS structures have specific benefits that I'm not fully qualified to explain, but I'm sure many engineers out there will find them useful. For this particular test, I'm just focusing on appearance. I think the holes are too small for a lampshade design, and I want them to be a little bigger so more light shines through. Let's go back to the TPMS settings and try to make them a little bigger. Increasing the cell size to 8mm should help. And indeed it did, but it made them a little too big for my taste, so let's go back and make them a little smaller this time. I settled on reducing the cell size to 6mm. I'm happy with this result, but with so many options, I'm gonna try a few more setting changes. On the right side of the screen we can see the objects and modifiers, going over to it and double clicking custom pattern I can go over to the settings and change the coordinate system from Cartesian to cylindrical. Quite a striking result but not quite what I had in mind. It looks a little hard to print on an FDM machine so I'll leave this one for the resin guys. For now I'll go back to using the Cartesian coordinate system. I'm quite happy with this result, but I think we can make it even better. As you know, good contact with the build plate is crucial for a successful print, so I want to simplify the features that will be in contact with the build surface. At the start, you may have noticed that I imported the STL file twice. This was intentional for these next steps. The TPMS function affects the entire object, but with clever use of some primitives and the boolean and merge functions, I'll be able to restore some of the original geometry in the specific places where I want it. I'll start by creating a primitive, a cylinder, which I'll use to cut the copy of the STL file. I'll leave just a little bit on top, because as I explained, it will be in contact with the build plate. At the bottom, I'll also leave a small section, so I don't have any loose ends. I adjust the size and placement of the cylinder until I'm satisfied with the section that will be cut. Once the cylinder is sized and placed, I use the boolean function. I select the STL copy as the main object, the cylinder as the secondary object and set the boolean operation to difference. I was thinking of using merge for these two parts, but before I could do that I noticed that the boolean operator had a union operation, which I assume works in a similar way. This is the final step. Now that both objects have been merged into one, the design is complete and ready to be exported. 
There are a few options for exporting. To speed things up and given that it's a decorative piece, I'll choose to export as a decimated STL. Now let's jump over to Bamboo Studio where we'll prepare our design for printing. First, I'll change the orientation of the model to ensure better contact with the build plate. This will eliminate the need for supports. With the orientation set, we are now ready to slice and print. I'll hit the slice button and once that's done, we can send the file over to the printer and get started. And there we go, our model is ready for printing, let's see how it turns out. Before we move on, let's quickly overview the entire design since only one of the parts has been shown so far. The design consists of a few parts. First, we have two parts with a twist lock design that make up the base where the Bamboo Lab LED kit will fit. On top of those, a light diffuser fits snugly. This light diffuser is designed to be printed in base mode to completely eliminate the seam, ensuring the light is uniform all around. Lastly, we have the shell that goes over the light diffuser, which was the part we already worked on in high design. The print is textured because it was printed in PLA carbon fiber from Bamboo Lab. Here's the light diffuser printed in vase mode with a 0.6mm wall thickness. Lastly, here's a quick time lapse of the star of the show. With everything printed, let's finish up with the assembly. Here's the final result with the light off and with the light on. As you can see, the intricate lattice structure of the shell creates a stunning visual effect. The TPMS pattern not only looks amazing but also allows light to diffuse beautifully through the openings. This unique design was made possible thanks to High Design's powerful tools, which let you create complex geometries with ease. The seamless integration of the Bamboo Lab LED kit into the base ensures that the lampshade is both functional and elegant. Notice how the light diffuser, printed in vase mode, ensures a uniform glow without any visible seams. This gives the lampshade a professional finish and enhances the overall aesthetics. The twist lock base provides a secure fit for the LED kit, making assembly straightforward and hassle-free. It's these thoughtful design elements that make the entire piece come together perfectly. I'm very pleased with how the final product turned out. The combination of traditional CAD design and High Design's advanced features has resulted in a truly unique and beautiful lampshade. High design isn't just for lampshades, you can create a wide range of objects. Check out these coasters and wrist rests, both made with high design. The models I'm sharing happen to be decorative, but you can create much more functional items like 3D printed bike saddles. I'll link in the description success stories such as David Albi Medina's ergonomic bike saddle. I want to point out that this video is not an in-depth tutorial on high design. There's so much more you can do with this tool and I've only scratched the surface. For more detailed tutorials and documentation, I highly recommend checking out the resources on the Hyperganic website and YouTube channel. High Design is now commercially available and they're offering a 14-day free trial for new users. This trial gives you full access to all of High Design's features. To start your free trial and explore the future of 3D printing lattice design, scan the QR code on screen or follow the link in the description. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your design process. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Braga 3D Print for more exciting content. Let me know in the comments what you think of high design and what you'd like to see me create next. In the description you'll find links to all the 3D models mentioned in the video, including coasters, wrist rest, vase, lampshade and the lightbox.